Hey all and welcome to my vlog. My name is Aird and this is the top 10 ways to be an amazing critique partner. If you're not already familiar, a critique partner is another writer that you pair up with to share and critique one another's work. It might be for a single project or you might have a long-term writing relationship with them. You want someone that's going to be on a somewhat similar skill level to you so that you can actually provide valuable information and resources to one another. You can have one critique partner or you can have many critique partners, but keep in mind if you have more than one, you're going to have to set aside a lot more time to critique all of their work. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just a greater time commitment and that's not necessarily doable for everyone. The key here is critique partner. This setup is an exchange, not a one-way street. Number one, don't make commitments that you can't or don't want to keep. It's easier to manage all of your writerly needs if you have more than one critique partner, but like I said, that's not always possible for everyone. If you can only have one, you need to be very discerning about who you're teaming up with. If you know that certain aspects of the situation are going to drive you bananas, don't partner up with them. If you're a person that needs to talk through things regularly and needs continuous communication, don't partner up with someone who doesn't have the time or availability to do that. If you want to communicate via email and be super professional, then don't partner up with someone who wants to be besties with their critique partner. If you want to work through your manuscript one chapter at a time and do a weekly exchange, and don't partner up with someone who's only going to accept a completed manuscript in one shot. Be realistic with yourself and the situation and don't be setting yourself up for a shitty time. Number two, don't partner up with someone who writes what you hate. No matter how desperate you are for a critique partner, do both of you a favor and avoid this. If someone is writing horror and you're a giant baby about it like me, don't partner with them. If someone's writing erotica and that makes you uncomfortable, don't partner. Being a critique partner is a lot of work and you have to be intimately involved with that person's work. Trust me when I say that it is so much easier when you are enjoying what you're reading, even if it needs work. Both of my critique partners are writing amazing kick-ass books, so when they have chapters ready for me, I'm excited to read. You don't have to be party-throwing levels of excitement to read your critique partner's work, but you do have to not want to smack your face on the wall in despair. Number three, be clear about the relationship. If your critique partner is new to you as a person and you want a strictly professional relationship, say that. If you are open to being friends or you're already friends with them but want to have a more professional relationship in regards to the critiques, say that. If you want to exchange work and only communicate via comments and emails, say that. If you want to have continuous dialogue through the entire process, say that. Be clear about what you want and what you're looking for. Neither side should be wondering what the appropriate way to communicate is. In my case, I'm friends with both my critique partners and we chat all the time anyways. They'll leave comments on my documents, I'll read them over, and then we'll chat on Discord about any questions or suggestions that come from that. Number four, be realistic with timing. Writing a book takes a long time. First draft, subsequent drafts, critique rounds, beta rounds, sensitivity readers, editors, the list goes on. There are a lot of steps and critiquing a manuscript is not an overnight process and if it is, it's probably not a very good one. Sure, you might be able to read a book in a day, but reading for fun is not the same remotely as critiquing. It takes way longer because you're focusing on so many more things besides just enjoyment. You're there to help with story structure, characterization, dialogue, etc. You have to take time to really digest what you're reading and then also take time to think about how to address any issues that you come across. Approach this process early on, preferably well before you have a deadline staring you in the face. It'll make things less stressful in general if both of you can just take the time you need to work without having an invisible deadline breathing down your neck. Number five, make a schedule and stick to it. You want to have at least a vague idea of one another's schedules so that you can figure out what method is gonna work best for you. With one of my critique partners, we do a weekly exchange working through our first drafts. If we're in a particular groove, we can do more than one chapter in a week, but that is the bare minimum that we've set for ourselves. If something comes up and we know we're not going to be able to meet that schedule, then we communicate like reasonable adults. If you find that you're having things come up constantly and you're repeatedly not being able to keep to the schedule, 
then it's probably not working for you and that's a conversation you need to have with your critique partner to see if you can find something that works better. Number six, be honest if you can't keep being a critique partner. Ghosting on someone that is relying on you is a bitch move. If there are scheduling issues or a life event happens that makes it impossible for you to continue on as a critique partner, that's a conversation you need to have with your partner. Just be straight up about your limitations so that they can find a new critique partner as needed. If you are not adult enough to have proper communication with your critique partner, then you are probably not adult enough to be going through the publishing process. If your critique partner reveals themselves to be a super shitty human, like they're homophobic, transphobic, racist, etc., or you're genuinely uncomfortable working with them, then you can excuse yourself from a partnership. Cite whatever you need, but get out of there. Number seven, don't be a dick. While it's important to be able to take constructive criticism, sometimes you gotta ask yourself, is what I'm saying helpful or am I being a douche canoe? Writers are not delicate little flower babies, but you still have to consider their feelings when you're giving your critiques. There is no way that the manuscript you're critiquing is going to be perfect, so it's gonna come up. If you hate something, figure out why you hate it. Is it boring? Is it out of character? Is it exposing a disturbing internal bias in the writer? Once you know that, check in with your CP. Have potential solutions in mind to help them correct this issue. If the issue is coming from an internal bias, then you have the option of educating your critique partner about why that's fucked up, or if the bias is very disturbing, you can peace out of there. If your critique partner is a reasonable human being, then you can just have a conversation about the solutions and how to make the story better. Number eight, be balanced in your critique. Pointing out what you love is just as important as pointing out what needs work. Gush where appropriate. If you love a character, a line, or a scene, tell them. Getting praise from someone that you trust to be honest is an amazing feeling. And it's going to mean so much more if you know that they're not going to be shying away from pointing out things that need work in the future. If you do nothing but gush, then it's going to feel less genuine and your CP is going to wonder if you're ever going to point out what's wrong with the work. If your CP is bolstered by your genuine praise, then it's going to soften the blow a lot when it comes to what they need to work on. Your critique partner needs to rely on your honesty so that they are not carrying major issues into the rest of their process. Number nine, don't be shy about confusion. I know it can be embarrassing to admit that you don't know what the fuck is going on in a scene, but you have to tell your critique partner. If you have to Google words or lose track of who's speaking or literally anything that you don't understand, say something. <laughs> Often there's a very easy correction to be made and it will save future readers from this same confusion. Number 10, talk them off the writer's ledge. There will likely come a time when your critique partner has an existential crisis, a scheduling conflict, or a life event that pulls them away from their writing. I say this now so that you are not surprised when it happens. Obviously, this will depend on the relationship that you have with your critique partners, but if you are friends with them on any level, they are probably going to come to you for support. Don't lie to them, but be supportive. If your critique partner has talent and they start to lament that their manuscript is a flaming trash pile, assure them that it's not. If their schedule is drowning them and you're a flexible human being, tell them that it's totally cool to take a week or two off until things stabilize again. Remember that you are in this together and a good critique partner is worth their weight in gold. If you've got good ones like I definitely do, you treasure those motherfuckers because they are hard to find. Settling for a bad partner in life as in writing is not going to make anyone happy. It's far better to be patient and wait for the person who is right for you and your process. Trust me, you and your book will thank you. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, then ring that bell. All my social media links will be in the description below. Both of my books, Olympian Confessions, Hades and Persephone, and Olympian Confessions, Hera, are available now in ebook and paperback. If you would like your manuscript critiqued by me, you can check out my critique service on my website. If you've enjoyed my content, consider being part of my Patreon family, and I will see you all next week with another video. Bye!